Hey everyone. So today we have the 1987 Murray Savoy with 1987 UR tank. And from what I from what I'm guessing these were installed together incorrectly back in the 80s. The lady had it replaced from in her house because the tank to bowl seal was leaking and you can already see I have the tank filled up and it's dripping with water there. And you can see how loose it is. A whole bunch of weird crap in the tank. But from what I can tell, based on other UR tanks that I've seen, this has the original fill valve. And these fill up extremely fast. So someday, when I figure out how to get the hose hooked up to this fill valve, I'll have to test it out. It looks like the original handle might even be an original flapper, but that's kind of hard to say. You can see in here, it says 1987 there. Then on the bottom of the bowl, it's 87 as well, but I'm not going to flip it over right now. It's a little dirty, as you can see. I'll be cleaning this up and doing maybe a partial restoration on it. I have it filled up to the original URC water line, but you can tell that they had it for years set to about an inch higher. And I'm not sure if they did that so that this flush is better on an incorrect tank or if they just didn't know how to set the fill valve. But anyways, we'll do a dry bowl flush here. Don't know what to say about that. Seems like it didn't want to flush there. I had to hold the handle down. Anyways, I'll fill it up again. We'll fill it up from the water line in the bowl too. I bet it'll be a little bit more normal. You can see it's also got an original wooden seat on it, which is really cool. Okay, so this time I've got the bowl filled up. And I filled the tank to where they were flushing it before, about an inch above the original water line. Let's throw a golf ball in there. That's a little more like it. And it took the golf ball no problem. So let's try 10. Alright, so tank is filled up to about where it was. The bowl is filled up. And there there are 10 golf balls in there. They're just kind of, you know, they got sunk into the trap a little bit. So let's see how this does. Those five got stuck, but only because they were kind of pressed into each other. You know, like how if you had a marble run when you were a kid, they, they'd always get kind of clogged in the funnel if there was a whole bunch then there at once. Once I freed them up, it took, took down all ten, no problem. I've got a whole bunch of others in there right now. It's just where I keep them. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of this, please let me know. I will be doing tests on it, like a washcloth and a grocery bag.
But overall, a very unique toilet being mismatched like this. And up next is going to be the 1980 Norris. And once I get through all these, I'm going to be doing golf ball tests on all of them too because I, I personally enjoy doing that. And then I'll do the normal stuff like a washcloth, gro grocery bag, a, a dye test, a dirt test, all that sort of thing. Yeah, up next at some point will be the Norris.